my name is Elizabeth Allen. I am well known as Libby. I graduated with my family nurse practitioner degree at Graceland University Independence Campus. I came to Decatur County uh, about four years ago specializing in rheumatology and decided to branch out um, practice and to specialize in weight loss also as this does help improve um, arthritis pain. I felt like this was a um, need to be able to help patients improve their overall health and reduce um, chronic disease risk factors. So first time patients um, usually come in, uh, we discuss their weight loss goals. Also, we lo look at overall risk factors, including um, cardiovascular risk factors, um, lipid screenings, things that um, will could potentially make their chronic disease worse. And so our goal is to improve overall all chronic disease uh, risk factors, uh, but most importantly, reduce the cardiovascular uh, risk factors that um, this population has. So we will, um, look through a past medical history, surgical history, um, and get an intense look of what could be potentially causing um, the weight gain and what could be potentially causing them to not be able to lose the weight successfully and keep it off. We will obtain fasting labs, um, go over the importance of diet, um, increasing our activity and ways to um, increase those activities and make those little diet adjustments that will help them uh, overall reach their goal. We also look at ways to um, incorporate certain medications that will help um, increase their weight loss, um, help with satiety, and um, overall help them reduce their weight. varies on, uh, depends on the person, honestly, and many people want to lose weight just as quickly as they gained it, but it, overall, a healthy way to lose weight is usually a half a pound to two pounds a week. A steady weight loss is what we're looking at, and there's going to be bumps in the road. There's going to be weight gain and weight loss, and it's a, it's a lifestyle change and a marathon, not a sprint. And so we want to make those small changes, including medication, if that's what we need. We also refer to nutritional consults um, to see if there's better ways that we can improve um, weight loss that way and make things easier for patients to um, adhere to our program. But each program is individualized for that patient. We also screen for diabetes. Um, hyperlipidemia, thyroid disorders, and if uh, we do find that the patient has uncontrolled diabetes or thyroid disorders that have been undetected up to that point, we do refer to um, our specialty clinics that we have here, including endocrinology. Um, we have patients who have joint pain, osteoarthritis from um, increased weight, especially affecting the knees and the hips. Um, with, uh, with weight loss, we can actually refer to orthopedics and um, that is right here at Decatur County and allow the patient to um, get an assessment by an orthopedic provider and to see what their options are to um, help control their osteoarthritis or their joint pain and also get them moving easier. Maintenance of the weight loss program or follow-up depends on the patient, but typically at first we will see you every four weeks just as to um, overall look at the diet journal, um, how your activity is increased, or if you can have activity increased depending on um, that patient's individual needs. Um, and then we will um, weigh and measure you every four weeks. And then as we get to noticing a steady decline in weight, then we can extend the um, follow-up visits anywhere from eight weeks to 12 weeks.
or want to make some lifestyle changes, um, including medical weight loss, I am here. But I'm also here for rheumatology services and including RA, osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, uh, chronic disease management, um, 15 days a month, um, and we're here to meet your needs.